A coyote's den can be a place for them to raise their young, and it can function as a temporary refuge. Dens are a place of protection, not only from predators, but from the elements as well. If you have ever wondered what a coyote den looks like and how to find them, you have come to the right place. What is a coyote den? Coyotes make dens out of hollowed out tree stumps, rocky outcrops, and existing burrows made by other animals. Den sites are made by either digging out a hole or widening those of foxes, raccoons, and badgers. Coyote dens are mainly used for birthing and the rearing of pups. These den sites will usually include some cover, like brushes or trees, as well as some sort of slope for drainage. Let's take a closer look at coyote dens, why they have them, why they use them, and more. Do coyotes use a den? Coyotes use dens, but not like you may think. The mating season for coyotes usually starts in February. The alpha pair are the only coyotes in the pack that will mate. Unlike other animals such as prairie dogs or badgers, coyotes do not use the dens they create year-round. Instead, they only use them for whelping pups, that is, delivering their babies and getting them ready for the world. This usually happens from March to June. The gestation period lasts about 62 to 65 days. After this, the pair will start looking for previous den sites that can be rebuilt. Otherwise, if an older den site cannot be reused, they will search for somewhere to make a new den. Do coyotes sleep in dens? Coyotes do not usually sleep in their dens. They prefer to sleep out in the open, under the cover of a low-hanging tree or bushy area. Only occasionally do coyotes use their dens for other reasons than raising their young. However, it's not uncommon for a coyote to take a quick nap in a den, or visit a den to make sure that it's still functional. In order to avoid adverse weather conditions, or avoid threats, coyotes will take refuge in dens. Coyotes usually avoid humans for the most part. However, they will fiercely defend their den when there are pups present. For this reason, you should avoid a den site if you come across one. However, knowing where a den is located can still be valuable information. Where are coyote dens found? Coyote dens are often located on the side of a ravine. One reason is that the soil is sandy or loose and is easy to dig. Another reason they choose these areas is for drainage. The water flows downhill as it rains. This allows their dens to stay dry. There are other benefits to making their dens on the side of a steep creek bank or runoff area. Trees with exposed roots are popular den entrance sites for coyotes, and trees grow very large near the edges of creeks. Logs left from downed trees and rocky outcrops are common in these areas. These are also used for den entrances as they provide cover to the entrance site. These areas offer a supreme vantage point from which the coyote or coyotes can spot threats from other predators. They also offer easy access to a water source and abundant prey which is crucial for the coyote's survival. While these places may offer many advantages, they are certainly not the only place you will find coyote dens. These are likely den sites for coyotes that live away from urban areas. Closer to cities, they are more apt to make smaller den sites wherever they can. You may find a coyote den in places like under a building's foundation, sidewalk, or driveway in an abandoned or seldomly used building. Also, you might find them in the middle of an undeveloped location or empty lot. Coyote Burrows and Other Animals Coyotes often use already excavated areas as their den sites. For this reason, coyote dens can be easily confused with the dens or burrows of other animals. From mountains and hill country to deserts and prairies, the denning habits of coyotes are similar in all areas where they live. Effective den recognition requires familiarity with the habits of coyotes. Besides coming across the dens of other animals, you may see the fresh dug out dirt and tracks of a coyote and assume that it is a den site. In reality, what you may have found is a place where a coyote has dug out the ground to capture prey. Coyotes hunt many animals that also burrow. As a result, they will dig out mice, rabbits, and other prey animals. Coyote dens are often found where you would least expect. They can use many dens in the same season and will often move their pups to avoid flea infestations. You may come across a freshly dug den site with tracks, however this does not mean that it's still an active den. What do coyote dens look like? Now let's examine what a coyote den looks like. 
What is the size and shape of the coyote den? Coyote dens can have one or many entrances. The entrance is usually about one foot wide and 16 to 24 inches tall. Depending upon the condition of the soil and other factors, dens can be as shallow as a couple of feet. Dens can also be six feet or more in length. When a den site has been used for multiple years and with the right conditions, dens can be as long as 15 feet or more. Coyote dens can have many twists and turns. Upon entering a coyote den, you will find that it often turns upward at first. This is almost sure to divert water. Even in the Great Plains, any slope is a likely place for a coyote den, even if it's just 4 to 5 feet. Once inside, coyote dens can be from 3 to 6 feet below the surface. Coyote Den Identification Coyotes are very intelligent animals. For this reason, they are more selective about where they make their den sites versus other animals. Consequently, if a den site has cover coupled with other factors such as the siding of animal feces, coyote-shaped tracks, and or fur, then there is a good chance that it could be a coyote's den. Identifying an active coyote den versus one that is not active can be as simple as listening for whelps. Coyote pups can be very noisy, which can give away their location. Coyote Den Behavior While both coyotes and the alpha pair will initially start to dig, it is the pregnant female that spends most of her time expanding the den site. Sometimes the sites can be elaborate, having six or more entrances. At this very same time, the male is hunting and defending their territory. After the pups are born, the pair will spend most of their time around the den and limit their hunting range accordingly. Coyotes are territorial animals. This is especially true when denning with the pups, as the coyote aggressively defends against not only people, but rival coyotes, dogs, and other predators. Coyote Dens and Their Pups while the pups are nursing, the female will remain with them. The male will bring her food to the den site. The only time she leaves the pups is to eat, drink, or do her business. Animal Fact It is interesting to note that lone males and barren females will instinctively dig dens even though they will not use them. Also an interesting to note fact is that a female that has lost her pups will continue to expand the den until she has reconciled with her loss. After giving birth, the female is most often in the den, while the pups are at the suckling age. She is seldom present, though, after the pups are old enough to be fed and play outside of the den. When the pups will go in and out of the den entrance depends largely on how steep it is. When the mother coyote leaves the den, she will always back out unless startled, and all the tracks will appear as if she is entering the den. As a result, determining whether she is in the den or not is difficult at this time. When the pups are about 8 to 10 weeks old, the dens are abandoned. Conclusion Just like many other animals in the wild, coyotes use the resources that they have around them. They have been known to use burrows from other animals, and they put a lot of thought into where the location of a den site should be. They are smart, resourceful, adaptive, and I wouldn't want to come across a coyote den out in the wild. But learning what one is and how it looks is definitely helpful. Well that's it for today. If you found this video useful, consider liking and subscribing to the channel. Also be sure to visit assortedanimals.com for more animal information. Want to learn more about coyotes? Check out our video on Coyote Sounds for over 4 minutes of coyotes howling. Until next time, this is Assorted Animals Wildlife Series.